First of all, Roosevelt Island is located in the East River. The city bought the island from a family called the Blackwells in the 1820s. So over the years, we've had more housing developments, but we've also had more parks developed. In about 1972, they realized that the subway would not be ready. So the tram opened in 1970. And though we do have the subway and we do have New York Ferry, we're written up in all kinds of travel and leisure magazines. They've heard that it's a nice green space. They see us from across the river and they come. It's like walking into an international airline terminal here. It's just amazing where people come from. We have a free red bus and it circumnavigates most of the island. We also have four miles of promenades if you want to walk it. There is a city bike here, you can rent a bike. We also have Firefighters Field, which is next to the tram, which is a ball field. You can picnic on almost any one of our parks. We have Capobianco Field, we have Octagon field, which are all sporting fields, with a large uh, soccer field, and at the very north end of the island, we have Lighthouse Park, and our landmark lighthouse, which has just been restored, and there's five sculptures next to it of Nellie Bly and four other women, called the Girl Puzzle. So we have plenty of landmarks, and also the visitor center, and when the trolley system closed, it was moved to Brooklyn, to the Children's Museum, and when we heard they didn't want it anymore, we adopted it and brought all 80,000 pounds of it back over intact and it became our visitor center. Mm -hmm.